Okay, welcome back, students. Uh, last time in the previous video, we discussed the uh, example two point four, and uh, in this example, we saw that how to approach a typical uh, probability related examples and how to solve them. What are the steps? Okay, let me repeat it again. There are basically some steps. In the first step, you have to write. You have to write uh, all the. Th you first of all, in the first step, you have to understand the question. understanding the question is also very 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 important this first tip is very important uh, read the question two times three times four times write in your own words or a rough page and then after understanding the question what you guys have to do you have to write all the things all the events in the form of the sets the first set you will write it will be a Uh, sample space and after it you will have to write all the events which are occurring uh, which which you are asked to find the probability of okay uh, so a b c are the events which we have seen which we have saw earlier similarly after it you have to find the intersection of the events uh, which will be needing which you guys will be needing in the, the uh, in future for finding the probability of the events and uh, after it after it you will have to find the probabilities of all the events okay probability of a probability of b probability of c and similarly the probabilities of all the intersections and all the unions okay then after it how 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 would you guys find the probability i have told you that there is a formula for the set there is a formula that the number of the number of elements in set a let's say divided by the number of elements in the sample space is is equal to the probability of a okay uh, if you have elements in in terms of sets if you are given any geometric related problem like areas or any event which is occurring half the time or any area is related then how would you find the probability let then you will have to find the probability of let's say probability of a will be equal to the probability of uh, probability of a is equal to the area area of area of a divided by the area of area of s sample space okay uh, you will have to find these areas and from these areas So the um, division of these areas will give you the probability in geometric case okay so these are the uh, approaches that you have to find and after it if you you guys are asked to find the conditional probability then you guys already know the formulas of a conditional probability and the formula is this one similarly for the other the formula is this one okay so this uh, this was this was the this was a highlight of a previous lecture uh, so let's move on what else is required what else you have to find um, so there is a very important rule and that is called the multiplication rule you guys know the formula for the conditional probability if you rearrange the formula then you can find this probability and this is the probability of a and b occurrence of a and b the occurring the probability that event a has occurred even and event b has also been occurred what is this what will this be equal to that would be equal to the probability of a given that prob that b has occurred but what was the probability of the occurrence of b okay uh, this is the probability okay uh, let's say let's say the this is the probability of the marriage of two brothers what is one is 
one uh, brother is Assad and the other one is, uh, is Imran. So what is the probability of the marriages of Assad and Imran as well? Both brothers are getting married on the same day. So what is the probability of the marriage of uh, Imran such that Assad has been married as well? And initially, what was the probability of the marriage of Imran? Okay. So uh, what uh, if something has occurred, what was the possibility of the occurrence of that event as well? What was the chances initially of the what was the ch what were the chances of that event uh, as well? Okay, that event has occurred, but what were the chances of that event before the occurrence of that event? So this is called the joint probability of two events. Okay, this is the joint probability, and you can find it by rearranging this formula. We have also done an example in our class. We have also done an example in our class uh, by using this formula, which was uh, based on a ladder diagram. Do you guys remember it? We have done it previously. Uh, so I'm not going to do that example again. Uh, please take a look over that and uh, that is the next example let's go through that example but uh, this is the multiplication rule uh, which you can find you can use to find the joint probability of any event okay uh, similarly if you want to find out the probability of um, a and b and C, the joint probability of three events. How can you find it? You can find the probability of A such that P and C has already been occurred okay then multiplied by the probability of b given that c has occurred and then the probability that probability of the event c so this is basically a chain rule in this rule you can see that all the events are interconnected similarly if we have four events or five events you can find the probability just like this one okay uh, so these these three four five events are interconnected uh, and that is the multiplication rule for finding the joint probability of different events here you have find the uh, you have find the probability joint probability of the events a b and c okay uh, so let's move on. Uh, this is example 2.25, 2 uh, which we have uh, done very uh, uh, thoroughly in our class. And what is it? What is it asking you to find? An urn contains two black balls and three white balls. Okay. There is an urn in which you have two uh, black balls and three white balls. Two balls are selected at random from the urn without replacement. Okay, keep in mind and uh, keep in mind that the balls are selected but without replacement. The balls are selected and not kept again inside the uh, urn or in bucket, but those balls are kept outside the bucket. First a ball has been picked and the ball is kept outside. Then in, in another trial, another ball is picked. And the sequence of the colors is noted. Find the probability that both balls which are picked are black. Okay. So this is uh, this is a ladder diagram or tree diagram, and uh, by using it, it will be very uh, feasible for you guys finding the probabilities. Initially, you don't have any ball uh, there, then 
you have a uh, total five balls so then you can take any ball from uh, out of the five ball you can take black ball and white ball as well the probability of picking a black ball is 2 by 5 and the probability of picking a white ball is 3 by 5 similarly if one ball is picked and that is the black ball black ball in first trial then you can also pick a black ball or white ball okay so if once a black ball is picked in another trial what is the chance of picking uh, b2 that would be 1 by 4 because now you are left with just one black ball and there are total of four balls three white balls and one black ball similarly what is the chance of picking a white ball in a second trial that would be 3 by 4 because now there are three uh, ball, white balls are left and uh, total number of balls are four similarly uh, if white ball is picked this is another branch of this tree if white ball is uh, picked uh, in a first trial uh, what is the chance of picking a black ball now now you are left with two black balls and two white balls these are basically all these possibilities that what can be occur just don't look over it again and uh, try to solve this example by yourself once you will try to solve it by yourself by writing all the numbers over here you will understand what is it asking you guys okay most of you guys uh, understand uh, understand this question okay and um, using this free diagram in your exam in your uh, questions it will be very handy for you guys to solve the question okay 2 by 4 and if first white ball is in first trial uh, white ball is picked what is the chance of picking a white ball again in the second trial okay uh, that is again 2 by 4 because now two two balls are available okay so what is the chance of finding two what is what is the probability of finding the two black balls means this one you have to find the probability this one and if you can see they have find the probability they both black are black means you have picked a black ball in a first trial and black ball in a second trial as well and i have already told you guys that if there is a concept if there is a, a, an intersection anywhere it means multiplication so and means multiplication that's why you will multiply 2 by 5 with 1 by 4 intersection there is an intersection here so these these two will be multiplied and at the end you will get 1 by 10 of picking both black balls okay if i ask you to find the probability that what is the chance of picking black ball in the first turn and white in the second term what will be the probability of the, that event that would be this one okay and uh, again black in the first and white in the second black in the first intersection w2 white in the second again you have the intersection sign here intersection sign here you will again multiply them so what is the chance of getting black in the first trial that was 2 by 5 multiplied by white ball in the second trial that is 3 by 4 okay it is written here you have to write it after writing it you guys will understand it very easily so that would be um, 3 by 10 yes 3 by 10 okay so that is the chance okay there is another uh, interesting fact here or interesting thing here and that is if you add all these probabilities these probabilities will be equal to if you will add them adding this plus this plus this 
1 by 10 plus 3 by 10 plus 3 by 10 plus 3 by 10 that would be equal to 1 this is the axiom okay this is the axiom that the total probability of uh, all the events will be equal to 1 okay uh, so now i think it is understandable this question is understandable there is another question uh, which is uh, related to the uh, which is related to bits bit error rate and uh, though that question will be your task this is the same question the same question okay the same thing is written here uh, you can also write it by using the probability law what is this thing initially you have uh, if you have picked b1 in the first trial you know the probability of b1 okay that is 2 by 5 you have known it and what is the probability of b2 if you have initially found uh, if you have initially picked b1 that would be 1 by 4 this thing is this one This is this thing. One by four is the probability that you have picked B1 initially, and then what is the chance of finding B2? And uh, the formula, mathematical formulation will be this one. The I have uh, given you the concept, but the mathematical formulation is this one. You have to formulate it mathematically as well. Okay, uh, just take a look over it as well. Okay, uh, let's move on. Um, this is the uh, question in which you have to find the uh, probability. Uh, many communication system can be modeled uh, in the following way. First, the user inputs a zero or one into the system, and a corresponding signal is transmitted. Okay, uh, corresponding signal which is related to zero or one, and that is called the modulation. The user sends ones with the probability p and zeros with the probability one minus p. The total probability of p plus one minus p the total probability will be equal to one according to the axioms of probability second the receiver makes it the bits has been transmitted now uh, in any communication system in any communication engineering telecommunication engineering what is the task what is the challenging task the challenging task is that you have sent something and uh, you have to design a receiver that could understand the bits or the things which you have already sent okay it has to understand the thing it has to recover what you guys have sent because the major enemy of the communication system is a noise which is available in uh, in the form of uh, um, in the form of air or in communication channel the channel can be a wireless channel wired wired channel so the uh, noise is also available here so you the receiver job the receiver job is to uh, receive the bits which you have already sent it has to recover the bits so uh, you have to make the decision the receiver makes a decision about what was the input to the system based on the signal it has received the receiver makes random decision error with probability the the um, receiver also makes decision but there is a chance of the error in that uh, decision so that uh, probability or that error is e so what is this you have to find the probability that you have sent one and zero uh, one, zero and one and the receiver has received one or zero as well okay so how can you find it you have to use the uh, you have to see the example 2.26 and this is your task um, it might be helpful for your exam as well okay uh, by using a tree diagram it will be very helpful for you um, okay there is a theorem which is the theorem of uh, total probability um, i have given you uh, the example in your classroom 
and uh, you guys have seen that we have uh, uh, calculated the probability of A uh, under different circumstances such that uh, and the probability of probability of A can be find out as some by, as some, uh, with respect to the other events by writing the probability of those events as well. Okay, this is the partitioning of the sample space, and we have discussed it, it already. Uh, what is this? Where can where it can be used? It can be used in finding the. Um, probability this it can be uh, used in finding the probability of or marginal probability from it you can be you can from it you can find the margin probability which we have discussed in conditional probability okay uh, we have discussed in our in our class and i think there is no need to uh, discuss it again uh, so i think uh, it's enough uh, until your uh, uh, midterm examination uh, just uh, go and do all exercise questions related to the um, uh, related to the concept which we have studied uh, i will also upload the assignment and uh, i will let you guys know about the uh, quiz and uh, inshallah we will discuss all the things which we have discuss so far after midterm what we will discuss we will discuss uh, Bayes theorem and many applications of Bayes theorem unfortunately um, uh, there was a gap um, of COVID-19 and pandemic and uh, I wanted to revise all the things because there were many people who were either in some kind of uh, stress or something and conditions of many people were not good that's why I decided to uh, revise all the things and inshallah we will cover all the items uh, which are listed in your course art lines and uh, until then uh, please practice over all the over all these concepts because these are the foundations if we if you will know all these things very well then the later things will become very easy we are going to discuss base theorem then markov chains uh, after it binomial distributions and many uh, discrete and um, um, continuous distributions as well. Uh, you have also learned the concept of, uh, you have also known that uh, people are, have been talking about the curve of a COVID-19 and so on. Uh, this curve is basically related to the Gaussian or normal curve, which is always and uh, 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 which is uh, all the way in your life. Which is which is which is uh, in many uh, you will see that it will be available in many things. Okay, we will discuss all those things, all the parameters of the Gaussian and normal curve, and uh, we will relate it with the base theorem as well. Okay, so I think it's enough. Uh, best of luck for your example. Um, learn all the things by heart, and uh, all the best. All the best. Thank you so much. And uh, I will see you after your exam.